All right, we're live now, October 4th. Wilson here with Amy Deer and Lloyd Mahoney. Bob is out of town. Bob is at the IEDC, the International Economic Development Council, their annual conference. Uh, he's in Nashville this week. Poor guy is just in Nashville going to class all day and doing conference stuff. So Empower Local, that was our scavenger hunt uh, that we did the last year. And before that, I think we just called it the Shop Local Campaign. But when COVID hit, we started calling it the Empower Local Program. So uh, we're doing a scavenger hunt, kind of like we did last year with the QR codes. And when you go find a business and you can uh, tell people that you found them and be entered into some drawings. So more to come on that. We're doing some planning for that. Uh, and then also on Friday, Amy's got this one. Um, yes, the executive committee is going to be working on coming up with some individuals to nominate. We have five positions that will be opening up. And so they're going to be doing some, you know, great meeting of the minds and getting some nominations selected for those positions to be filled. Yep. Our board of directors, one of our most important committees, I think, is, is that nominating committee. So they're, like you said, Amy, I think the meeting of the minds, I think, was an excellent way to put it of a brainstorm of some people who are passionate about this community and this chamber and everything that we're doing here. So, uh, and then Lloyd, we got a big week next week. We do. Uh, we've been a little slow on ribbon cuttings and uh, events. Our ambassadors love events and they always uh, enjoy all the things that we put on ribbon cuttings, groundbreakings, uh, business after hours. We have three back to back to back next week. They'll uh, start with uh, Casey Scribner, State Farm Insurance, on Monday. Second day, Tuesday, will be uh, Mad Max Welding. He's out there on Firehouse Lane, south on 7 to 206. And then the third day, which will be Wednesday, is uh, Buffalo Chateau. It's RLO Rentals, uh, Roger Orr's Party Entertainment Service. It's a blue painted building on the square. So we're excited to kind of see what all three of these guys will do. Casey's new to the community. Matt and Max has been here for a while and has a successful business. And then uh, Roger Orr's uh, Buffalo Chateau is new to the area too. So we're excited to get back in the groove on doing the ribbon cuttings and uh, get all the ambassadors together. And toward the end of the month, Southern Airways is planning a business after hours, which is always exciting. As I understand it, passengers will be flying in from Dallas uh, during that event. So we'll get to welcome <laughs> some folks coming into the airport about the time we're doing the business after hours. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. I look yeah, forward to it. They always put on a, a good event. They had some they had some ticket giveaways a couple of years ago and a band out there on the runway and a whole bunch of stuff. So they, they do it upright. That's a lot of fun. They do. All right, and this week's guest is Shonda Tapley. Shonda, it's actually a while back. We recorded this a while back, but she just was returning from the Community Development Institute, learning basically basically doing some of the same stuff that we're doing here. Okay. It's similar to economic development. It's kind of another take on it of community development. Um, and a lot of chamber leaders go to that, economic developers go to that, Utility companies go to that. Mayors and municipality leaders go to that. Uh, really great networking. Maybe I, maybe I should just quit talking about it and just play the interview and let her tell you about it. That's fantastic. Go Shonda. Yeah, go Shonda. All right, let's play the interview. Hey Shonda, thanks for joining us this week for This Week at the Chamber uh, to tell us a little bit about CDI and all of the professional development stuff that you've done. This, is, this was year two, right? You just got back from year two? Year two, we, um, this should have been our year three, but it is year two for because of COVID. Right. So now we changed ourselves and now we're the CDI class of 2022 um, because it's a three year program and become a certified um, professional community economic developer. Pretty exciting. Yeah. So you spent two or three days down in central Arkansas. Whoa. Five. Days? Five days. Five days. Five. It's Monday. We get there on Sunday. Um, evening, uh, and it's five days, Monday through Friday, yeah. and it's five long days, but they're great. Um, the, you know, I've done a lot of, um, edu I've been 
I have had a lot of education. I've done a lot of professional development throughout my career. And I've honestly, um, you know, I'm really close with my housing friends and we've have a lot of bonds, but the bonds that are established in CDI so quickly is amazing. And so um, you kind of, you look forward to seeing your class again. And we were all very sad that we didn't see each other last year because you work on things together, you know, you do team building projects. Um, and eventually at the end, what you do is your goal, if you want to do the advanced year after the third year is to help a community um, and with their help a community or a city with their community and economic development. Uh, you know, we were talking off the air just a minute ago about um, all of the people who are investing in professional development kind of in our area of the community and economic development mission or mindset and what it looks like to invest back in your community. And um, th is that pretty standard that were there other people like from other housing authorities there or was it? Well, in my in my class, uh, my two year or year two class, I'm the only one in housing. There are people from mayors uh, to the Arkansas Department of Health, workforce, uh, Arkansas Division of Workforce Services. Let's see, there's people from uh, financial organizations. There are people from Entergy. Entergy is a big sponsor, and there's always someone from Energy participating. Um, there's people not just Arkansas. I have such great friends now that I've made in Louisiana, Mississippi. It's, it's amazing because, you know, um, sometimes people think, oh, well, the only people involved in community and economic development is the chamber um, or maybe the mayor uh, or one other person in the community. But there's so many spokes to the wheel. Mm -hmm. And when you attend a CDI class, you see that because there's so many different organizations or departments or just career fields participating. It's amazing. Yeah, the idea sharing. I would, I would absolutely agree just in my, uh, I think about a year and a half coming up on two years for me in the, at the chamber here and uh, focusing more on some of the economic development stuff of, of the people you meet and the conversations you have are some of the most valuable thing. I mean, it's not necessarily the presenters that you hear or the notes that you take, but it's the conversations that happen after of like, hey, mm -hmm. how are y'all applying that in your community? And, you know, some people we reference, you know, Fayetteville, Northwest Arkansas area, and we reference Jonesboro or Conway or Little Rock and what they're doing. And people say, well, we're not them, so don't compare us to them. And it's, you mentioned like, it's it's not necessarily that it's a comparison or we want to take that, but there are bits and pieces of what they're doing that work for them for a reason. And it's going to be able to translate to us, even if we're a vastly smaller population in different lifestyle, there are pizza pieces of it that are going to work, so. Yeah, absolutely. We, it's the bonding and it's the, as you said, you know, there's a lot of great information from the, from the presenters, but it is definitely the bonding um, when we spend time together during breaks, during lunch, after and the evening um, and talk just about our lives, about our communities. There's so much community discussion. It's unbelievable.